idea of the inversions and the tendency tones can be found on page 256 of your textbook, and you can do the triad, which is on page 257. So I would suggest you practice those pages uh, and even take a picture of that and tell me exactly what, uh, uh, show me that you understand the concept behind those uh, particular tendencies. So I would suggest that. Page 258 of your textbook shows you what not to do. Direct oct octaves, so you want to avoid that, which is not a good tendency. Direct octaves with uh, soprano stepwise, which is not good. Contrary fifths and contrary octaves, we've already talked about that in class. And too much space between voices, which is not good. Uh, we've talked about what is ideal close closed position and open position, say, of, of FATB uh, voices, and making sure that, that when you do write your voices, that it's within the uh, expected or the, uh, uh, the normal uh, expectation of what the voices would be. You don't want to have a soprano voice way up in C5, and you don't want to have a bass voice down in A1. That simply would not work at all. And plus, between the bass and a tenor, you can have a little bit more space, but try not to go above, say, a tenth or a twelfth. That would not be good at all. But your textbook mentions those things on page 258, and there's a summary on that page which mentions avoid parallel octaves and fifths, as you all know, uh, in the writing. It's just there's more voices that you have to make sure that you avoid that. Direct octaves or fifths, which is similar uh, to that. Contrary octaves or fifths, don't try to do the same thing even if the voices go in opposite directions. Still, it's parallel fifths. Unequal fifths, move, uh, motion, you don't go from a diminished fifth to a parallel fifth. Diminished fifths normally, interval-wise, go to thirds, and augmented fourths generally go to sixths, as we have discussed in class before. Uh, Voice-leading problems are mentioned on page 259. So you want to, to uh, try to avoid that kind of thing. Overlapping and contrary voices, which is not a good thing. Voice crossing, generally uh, not a good thing. Although if you remember when we were working on Bach chorales, there are times that Bach would use a, a voice crossing or a, a voice uh, where the, the alto would go below the tenor because it was to avoid other things which were considered more serious, which like, like parallel octaves or parallel fifths. So uh, you might want to look over your Bach cantata sheets that I have given you, uh, the chorales, and see if you, you can uh, critically assess those kinds of things. You can do those on your own. But I want to just to, to mention that again, just so that you're, you're aware of, of the problems that are involved. The more voices you have, the more problems you have with trying to make the voices independent and avoiding these, these particular things. You also want to, especially if you're working with a minor interval, the sixth interval, you don't, uh, which would, is normally, uh, say, uh, uh, which is a, uh, a lower sixth, going from there, say, to a leading tone leads to an augmented second, which is not a good situation to, to uh, write. So try to avoid that. And also try to avoid augmented fourths, melodic augmented fourths. That's not a good uh, solution at all to do that. Your book on page 259 also covers that at the top of the page, example 13.5. So that would be a part of, the, of that. Extensions of dominant hum harmony, uh, page 260. Uh, complete and incomplete thoughts, you might say, a 565 going to 57 incomplete to a complete, and the voice lead is mentioned there once again. You have augmented fourths going to minor sixes or major sixes, whether it's an, a, a major key or a minor key, but those work very well too. Uh, so that is, is uh, all mentioned there. I'd also suggest you practice voice leading with this triad number three at the bottom of page 260. Uh, those, those particular chords are mentioned and see if you can uh, keep the thing to where you go smoothly from one chord to another. And remember the rules that we talked. We talked about some of that when we were uh, doing face-to-face -face instruction.